Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to create our undistorted footage. We need to remove the, the distortion from the footage so we can use it in our 3D software. I'm using Nuke. You can use whatever you want, um, After Effects, Linktron, or, or whatever software, basically. I'm using Nuke because everyone uses Nuke. So I'm just going to read in my image sequence. See here, we've got Pickle's Cage. So now what you need to make sure you do first is you need to actually have you need to make sure you have the lens distortion pack from 3D Equalizer. Otherwise it probably won't work. And this is free on the 3D website, so go to there and make sure you've got the, the lens distortion packs. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm literally you can import that in, but I'm just gonna click and drag. And I'm gonna put that on, and you can see the distortion being removed. You want to make sure on distortion you have undistort. Otherwise, um, you'll be double double distorting it, which you don't want. So now I'm just gonna reformat that. Oh. Two, three, eight, four, it's a where are you? So you can, so all this does is just cleans it out, make sure that it's reformatting and it's held within its uh, bounds. You can also reformat it if you're not actually needing it at 4K in your software. I would probably reformat it again. Scale. 0.5, which will now take you down to just HD, which makes it a little bit easier to write out. So I'm just going to write. So this can be a half resolution one, so it's just a bit faster to render out. I have to call this UDP for understood footage dot four hashes. So it knows it's a image sequence and JPEG. Put it up to maximum, not that it probably makes a difference, and just click render. And I'm probably just going to fast forward through this, or you'll just magically see me there now. Okay, so that's finally done. That took longer than I thought. So what I usually do is just read that back in. We have our demo UDP. It's a half res, but generally we won't see any difference apart from the distortion. So we've got this. So if I just under disconnect that, we've got, if I press one, we've got our original footage with distortion. Press two, a half res with undistorted. So if I, so used to Houdini click and dragging, it doesn't do that. But So if I put my distortion on now, if I select distort, if I view on that, view on this one, and be on this one, we should see no difference. And we don't. So it's perfect. So yeah, we've understood our footage in Luke and it's ready to go into our 3D package. So see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.